If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Drop-down lists in Acrobat Forms let users select a choice from a drop-down menu. However, they may only select one choice. Alternatively, list boxes in Acrobat Forms constantly display a list of choices from which a user can select. You can change the properties of a list box in Acrobat so users can select multiple choices from a list box if needed. To add a drop down list to a form in Acrobat, open the form in Acrobat. Then click the Edit command in the top bar and click the Prepare a Form link in the Edit panel to show the Prepare a Form panel. Click the drop-down list link in the Prepare a Form panel in Acrobat. Hover your mouse pointer over the location at which to add the drop-down in the PDF to show a preview of the field. Then click once to add it to the form. The drop-down list tool remains enabled, so you can continue to click at different locations in the PDF page to add as many as needed. To turn off the drop-down list tool, click the Select tool in the Quick Tools panel to switch to that tool, which is the default tool. To show the properties of a drop-down list in an Acrobat form, double-click it with the Select tool to open the drop-down properties dialog box. To change the name of the drop down list, type its name into the name field on the General tab. To make selecting a choice from the drop down required to submit the form, check the Required checkbox. To set the list of values from which users can select, click the Options tab at the top of the dialog box. Then type the first list item into the item text field on this tab. Optionally, to associate an export value for this item that is something other than the item field's value, enter the desired export value into the export value field. To then add the value to the drop down list, click the Add button. The item then appears in the item list field on this tab. Repeat this process of adding list values until you enter all the items for the drop down list into the item list field. To delete an added list item, click it to select it in the item list field, and then click the Delete button. To change the order of the list items, click an item in the item list field, and then click the up and down buttons to the right as needed. Finally, click the item within the item list field to set as the default choice. Whichever item is selected when you close the dialog box becomes the default choice for this dropdown. To alphabetize the item list, check the Sort Items checkbox on this tab. To let users enter custom text into this dropdown, check the Allow User to Enter Custom Text checkbox. If unchecked, which is the default, users instead select an item from the dropdown list. If checked, to also check the spelling of list item values users enter, check the Check Spelling checkbox. To save a selected drop down value as soon as the user selects it, check the Commit Selected Value Immediately checkbox. Otherwise, the value is committed when the user exits the drop down field. When finished, click the Close button in the drop down properties dialog box. Alternatively, to add a list box to a form in Acrobat, click the List Box link in the Prepare a Form panel in Acrobat. Hover your mouse pointer over the location at which to add the list box in the PDF to show a preview of the field. Then click once to add it to the form. 
The list box tool remains enabled, so you can continue to click at different locations in the PDF page to add as many as needed. To turn off the list box tool, click the Select tool in the Quick Tools panel to switch to that tool, which is the default tool. To show the properties of a list box in an Acrobat form, double click it with the Select tool to open the list box properties dialog box. Then set its name and optional required value on the General tab, just like a drop down. Then click the Options tab and set its list values, just like you set them for drop downs. You have the same sort items and commit selected value immediately checkboxes for list boxes as for dropdowns. For list boxes only, however, you can let a user select multiple choices if needed. To let form users select more than one choice from a list box in an Acrobat form, check the multiple selection checkbox. To set the list box values, click the Close button in the List Box Properties dialog box. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.